All right, we're go to math, talking about calculus, and we're solving limits uh, numerically. Let's scroll down. So we're looking at the limit as x approaches 2 of x minus 2 over x squared minus 4. Uh, let's work a different color. <clears throat> so we had uh, the limit. As x approaches 2 over x minus 2, x minus 2 over x squared minus 4. And let's sketch out something over here. We're approaching 2. Okay. We'll say 2 is right here on the x-axis. Now the way we're going to do this is we're going to pick a number to the right of 2 and then we're going to get closer and closer and closer to 2. This is called coming in from the right. For example, 2 plus 0.1, right, which gives us 2.1. And we're going to plug that into the function. And that function actually happens to be this up here x minus 2 over x squared minus 4. Now if you notice if we plug 2 directly into this we end up getting 0 over 0 which means that there's a point that is missing somewhere on the graph there. It's not defined. But we can find out what that point is by getting closer and closer to 2. 2.01 so as you can see we're getting closer and closer to 2 coming in from the right. Uh, question is, is what does this graph actually look like? If we were to uh, factor the denominator we have x minus 2 over x plus 2 and that's all over x minus 2 we can cancel those guys out and we get x plus 2 now we could call this also f of x, but we must state that the number that's not going to be in the domain is going to be 2. All right, so we have to state that. We can say this is f of x, but we must state that x cannot equal 2 for the domain here. Um, no, we can't use 2. But what we've got is, uh, let's see, negative 2 is uh, 0 in the denominator. We can't use that obviously. Um, whoa Nelly. Let's see if we plug 0 into this we get a half so it's going to cross boy this is not the scale here. Cross somewhere here at a half. We have a vertical asymptote at negative 2 because that would become that would make this a 0 on the bottom and then a number other than 0 in the top. Um, anyway, it should look something like this. Anyway, my gray drawings there. And of course there's a hole in the graph right here. This is where it's undefined and there's a vertical asymptote over here at negative 2. Alright. Uh, anyway, we're coming in. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to 2 from the right, right? And then we're going to do the same thing coming in closer and closer to 2 from the left. So that would be 2 minus 0.1 and then 2 minus 0 0.01 and we can see where that number is converging. Let's go back to the uh, web page and let's go over here and hit answer and we get uh, 1 fourth. We can come over here and hit the help button to the far right and we can take a look at what I was talking about earlier. As you can see it's getting closer and closer to 0 0.25 coming in from the left and coming in from the right and uh, the answer is equal to, uh, I'm not sure why that says answer right there, that should say uh, 1 fourth. I'll have to take a look at the code but um, anyway as you can see the answer should be 1 fourth. So you want to just click a new one and try to work it out yourself. Um, and I think we're moving on here. This is the last problem of this section. We're going to be moving on to evaluating limits analytically, which should be pretty easy if you've caught on to what we're doing.